gonna have to wait it out. Hey guys, it's Jim and Rhonda here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, we invite you to subscribe so you can see what our channel is all about. Our latest adventure took us to Caprock Canyon State Park here in Texas. Uh, it is known for the free roaming Texas State Bison Herd. And they are awesome. In the mid 1800s, bison were plentiful across America. By the end of the 1800s though, the bison herds had dwindled down to less than a thousand. In 1878, Charles Goodnight began capturing calves so that he could preserve the species. Ultimately, donating the herd to the state of Texas and moving them to Capra Canyons in 1997. Genetic testing has revealed that this herd may be the only descendants of the original Southern Plains bison. Caprock Canyon is their home and they're free to roam and they go wherever they want. So our first couple days in the state park, known for the bison, nothing. We didn't see one. The morning we got there, our neighbors said that the bison had walked through the back of their site, so we got excited. Day two, nothing. We were frustrated. On day three, we stopped by the visitor center to ask around. Basically, we were told that they go wherever they want. They gave us some locations to keep an eye out for. After leaving the visitor center, we had our first encounter. A small group right off the road. It was amazing. Even Bear was kind of stunned. I was happy. That afternoon, we actually encountered the herd again. We had gone on a short hike, just a couple of miles, and when we were coming back to our campground, um, we saw a few of the bison and came around the corner and there were more. Hey guys, we are out on our hike. And uh, as you can see, we are right here on the canyon edge. And then if you look, let me show you with the camera. The bison are right over there. quickly and quietly got out of the area so as not to disturb them. Which leads us to day four. <laughs> Good morning. It is our last day here and it is uh, time for early mornings with Bear. So uh, get him going and then we will pack up and head on back to DFW. As soon as I got around the corner from our campsite, I saw a few bison at the end of the campsite. Bear saw him, he wasn't very happy. So we ended up going a different route over to the field by the bathrooms, which led us into the herd slowly moving their way through. Now we don't condone in any way getting close to these creatures and in fact we tried to get away from them but the way they do they roam where they want and they kept going where we were going. Yep. So Bear and I of course during this whole process Bear had to do his business because that's what we were out there for so he was doing that while I was monitoring the bison situation uh, we got over by the bathrooms, kind of waited to see what the bison were about to do. When I noticed that they started coming closer and closer, that's when Bear and I decided to walk to the other side of the campground, and that's when we realized we were surrounded. 
we were told that they would come into the campground and into the individual campsites just rowing around looking for something to eat, looking for shade, and boy did they. Now, when Jim was taking Bear out for his walk, a little bit after they had left, I heard Bear barking. I thought they were headed back or something, and I opened the window shade, and right outside of our camper, not four feet from the window I was looking out, was a big old bison. And it, it startled me, to be honest. And then his friend came around the corner, and then they started walking toward the end of the trailer, and I went and looked out the back window, and they're just hanging out behind our trailer in our campsite, near our picnic table and everything. They were just having a good old time. Like we said before, this is their park. We're just visitors. Um, Bear and I basically had to stand on the side of the road as the herd moved through. Now, Bear was not happy about this because he doesn't understand these creatures. So, and he barks at what he doesn't understand because he's technically a livestock guardian dog and that's what they do. They bark to scare things away. But in this situation, it, it could have been bad, but it wasn't. He just didn't like them and they ignored him. So that was good. Now, the video clip you're about to see is Bear's reaction to the bison. Now, we will preface this by we couldn't move anywhere. I couldn't go into somebody else's campsite because they didn't want the dog to spook the bison and come close, which I understand. So as the bison came by, Bear barked, the calves spooked and created this. Now once again, this was not our intention to interact with the bison in this way, but we were in a situation where we couldn't do anything. Ultimately, Bear and I made it back to the trailer as we had another visitor in the campground, made it inside so that we could start the process of packing up. Because this was the day we were actually leaving, but all these bison were around, so we, we had to take it a little slower on this pack up morning. Yep. But when we were leaving, we got to actually find out how the state park rangers moved the bison. So, as you'll see in this clip, they have a truck with a trailer on it. We're not sure exactly what's in there, but I'm assuming it's the equivalent of catnip. <laughs> um, think of it as children chasing an ice cream truck. So, enjoy. Now, as we were leaving the park, we had one last encounter. We were out of the campground itself where we were staying, and we were on the road that leads out of the camp, or out of the uh, state, state park, park itself, excuse me. And there they were again, and they were on one side of the street, and they were starting to mosey across because there was a big watering hole on the other side. So we had to stop and wait for them to decide whether they were gonna come across the street or not and you have to let them be. So we just let them cross. And once again, Bear was not happy. <laughs> now, again, this disclaimer is, please do not interact with wildlife if you don't have to. These are wild creatures, and in this situation, this is their home. We're just visiting. We got caught in a weird situation that we couldn't get out of, and we just had to let it play out. And we know that there have been people hurt recently by bison up in uh, Yellowstone. Um, and we would never get close to them on purpose. These were accidents and we got out of the situations as quickly as we could. But, you know, they were situations that we didn't cause. So please don't come at us. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And once again, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, have you had any wildlife interactions that, uh, that are just so memorable that you want to share them? Leave them down below in the comments. We'd sure. love to find out your story. We'd love to hear what kind of animals you've run across and what situations you've been in. Yeah, and just remember, <laughs> be careful what you wish for because yeah. uh, I got everything I wanted and then some. Mm -hmm. Bye.